Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, fellow musky hunters of the world. Today, we gotta talk about something important. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're gonna be talking about something cool. I've done a lot of videos in the past on musky fishing, best musky lures, stuff like that. But today we're going to be talking about the best musky lures for beginners. So today I'm going to be going over five musky baits that I think are awesome for beginner musky anglers. So let's get started. Now you cannot open any musky tackle box of any anglers and not find a bucktail. Bucktails are just super simple. You can fish them slow, get them deep, you can fish them fast, get them high, fish them around weeds. They're not that terrible around the weeds. They're just a really simple bait. You can cast out there, straight retrieve it, however fast or slow you want. And they straight up catch fish. They put off a lot of vibration with big blades and stuff, as well as a lot of flash in the water. And uh, the skirt flutters out and creates just a really unique action, which is awesome. This one here is kind of cool. It's different from any other bucktails. This is the Esox Assault EA109. Cool thing about this one is it has a size 10 blade and a size 9 blade so that one's a little bit different than any others and a size kind of like a size 9 like this is basically what i'd recommend for beginners you can fish it throughout the year it's still small enough that you could fish it in spring as well as summer and stuff and then it's also big enough that you can throw it in the fall and stuff when you're looking for bigger baits uh looking for those bigger fish and stuff so it's a really nice year-round bait that really straight up catches fish. Next we have a new bait for this year. This is the Chaos Tackle Poseidon. This is another really sweet bait. It's really easy to throw which pretty much all these baits that I brought in are. The cool thing about this one is it's so big you can target those bigger fish and stuff. It's really nice kind of natural action. It's got a really kind of a body roll which is nice but you can still fish it really slow have a nice tail kick and it's kind of more of a natural musky lure which you don't see too much but this is a really nice one and it's proven to catch fish. Like I said it's only been out for a year but it's put tons of fish in the boat for you guys and it's really durable. You'd think that being a soft plastic swim bait, you might get a musky or pike or something to come up and crush the tail, rip it off. But what we found is most of the field testing and stuff done with these baits, the fish either T-bone it or go for the head. These fish are always going in to kill and they always take the hooks and stuff so it has a really nice hookup ratio as well but it's a really good bait it's super easy to throw all you gotta do is cast out and reel it again super simple and a nice bigger bait for you guys now this bait is if you want to put in a little bit more work towards your fish this is a really nice bait in the spring and summer this is a small uh, glide bait you can use bigger ones as well throughout the year i'd recommend for a beginner basically anything five to seven inches for year round um, it, they're not that expensive, which none of these baits in this uh, video are, so it's kind of a good bait. All you gotta do is cast it out there, twitch it. It has a lot more action, especially with the tail and everything, and you can get these really nice on active fish and stuff. And the fish really just come in and you're really focusing on those active fish with this bait. So it's a really nice bait. You can cover a lot of water really quick and bring fish in the boat. Number four is gonna be a crankbait. Uh, basically any crankbaits are nice because you can cast them out, reel them, you can get different diving depths, different lengths, however you want, as well as you can cast them or troll them. So they're really a universal bait and they work well throughout the entire year. Uh, this one here is going to be a 5 inch mini from Custom X, so it's a cool bait, nice color pattern there, all airbrushed and everything, but you can get all different ones depending on what you need, the size you need, diving depth. And like I said, you can all you gotta do with this one as well, cast it out, reel it in. You can add a couple twitches if you want. And they're just an awesome bait. Plus they float a lot of them. So when you get around snags and stuff, you can always let them up easy. So you don't have to worry about that. You can fish them above weeds, different things like that. So they're a really kind of universal bait that works well. Now the final bait is gonna be a Medusa. I was kind of concerned about throwing another soft plastic bait into this video since I already did the Poseidon, but this one's actually a little bit different. It's got its advantages and disadvantages compared to the Poseidon, so they're both a good bait for this video. Again, this is super easy to fish. You can fish it in many different ways. Cast it, reel it, you can jig it, you can hop it off the bottom. You can really do whatever you want with a Medusa, and it's another bait that really catches a ton of fish. The cool thing about this one is it has a bunch of tails on the back, so it's going to be a little bit different action compared to like the Poseidon. Uh, you can fish it really slow. It's known for getting big bites in fall and stuff. But the cool thing about this bait compared to the Poseidon is right now you've 
you're able to get it in many different sizes, which is cool. Poseidon at the moment, you can only get in the 10 inch size. So this one has its advantage there. You can get in many different sizes, colors, everything like that. Uh, for whatever you want, for your rod and everything, your lakes that you're in, and just the fish that you're targeting. So that's another cool bait for the best five baits. So those are in my mind five of the must-have baits for any musky angler just getting into it. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys learned something and are able to go out and use baits like those and catch some fish. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Be sure to like this video if you liked it and also subscribe below.